going on in the west coast and the western states oh my goodness well yeah i wish it was a little bit cooler but i'm not dying here and i'm staying cool and i want to show you how i do it well one of the main things that i use is my fan and i'm going to show it i've shown it many times i use a no polar i have a gray one also just in case anything happens to this one I, in the summer, you have to have it. I can't wait for it to be shipped or anything like that. I get this on Amazon. And I've not found this in stores. And this is the one I like. Oh, Polar. Yeah. USB. Plug it into my Jackery. It's got high and low. High. High. <laughs> and low. Oh, that's high. Whoops. Here's high. Yeah. Now what I do is I park it here and it blows on me and I've got it plugged in to my Jackery. I like the old Polar because it has these clips on here. I can open them up here and I can take this off. And then I can wash the blades and I can wash the cover and I can wash everything in it instead of trying to get a Q-tip or something to go in there. And a lot of them, uh, you have to do that to clean them and they do get nasty after a while. Well, oh, it looks like I do need to clean this already because I use it. It's on almost 24-7 now with this heat. 
it doesn't draw a lot, not like a laptop or something, but it does draw. So what I'm finding in the summer is both of my jackeries are kind of low right now. Yeah. And because this is on 24 seven now, all night long. Yeah. I have it blow here and then it blows on me while I'm sleeping right here. I do like this. And I have another one, like I said, back here, just in case, so I could just switch it if anything happens to one of them. Yeah. Got my library glasses on. Oops, we can see what's going on out here. Okay, so that is one of the main ways that I stay cool. Here's my Spray Master. Five-year guarantee. I got this at Home Depot almost five years ago. Still going strong. I can spray myself down. This is a Chill Pal. It's a neck gator. Chill Pal. It's a neck gator. And it keeps me cool here. What I have been doing was really hot, and it is really hot. I've been using, putting on my bathing suit top. But before that, I dunk it in my blue collapsible pail along with my arm gaiters. So you ask me, why do I wear uh, arm gaiters? Protect my uh, arm from the sun. Somebody asked me if it was to protect like needle marks. Are you kidding me? No, <laughs> I don't have needle. I, I, I never uh, injected drugs, okay? Yeah, that was very rude. Um, people say anything on the internet these days, don't they? But no, it doesn't, uh, protect, it protects my arms from bruising and from the sun getting on them, yeah. So uh, what I do is I dunk all those things and this in water and then I get dressed. That way I can really, and if I'm in front of the fan, it blows on me and it cools. It really does cool your temperature down. Now, this, and then during the day, either I'll take it off and redunk it, or I can just spray it with a spray bottle. Yeah. Now, during the day, probably two or three times during the day, I turn on my air conditioner, and I blow it on me. And, um, yeah, if I'm going to be in here for a while, or it just becomes kind of unbearable, like in the heat of the day, like at 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, I'll turn it on. Now, Scotty Kilmer, <laughs> Scotty Kilmer is on YouTube. He is like mechanic of mechanics and he has over a million, probably two million subscribers. He actually used to be on TV. He used to be like the mechanic expert. He is so funny and he sounds just like Joe Pesky. He really does his voice. Well, and he's hilarious, very entertaining. Well, what he recommends, I've had other mechanics say, oh, that's, that's silly. But Scotty Kilmer said it. He said, if you're going to let your car idle, that's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. Run your air conditioner. But he said, what happens is, is because you're not moving, that he can get trapped inside your, uh, under your hood. So he says, if you're going to do that, just prop your hood up. So that's what I've been doing. I Sometimes I don't prop it all the way up, but I'll put something there so that it's propped up about this far. I've had people come by and go, oh, are you, do you need uh, trouble? Are you having trouble? I don't know. Um, what I'm doing is making sure that it doesn't get too heated in there because he said that it can melt over time. It can melt your wiring, the covering on your wiring. Well, I've had mechanics, I've met people that guys say, oh, that's silly. No, you got the, the grates on your, the front of your minivan. And, but if you're not moving, it's not moving air through. Makes sense to me, Scotty. <laughs> hey, Scotty. Um, so yeah, I do it. And so that's another way that I stay cool is sometimes I turn on my air conditioner. Now it does use more gas, but hey, at least as so does running an air conditioner in your home, you're going to use electricity. So yeah. Gas here in Reno is still about three seventy nine to four three ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. So how else do I stay cool in my minivan? Well, 
I use my humidifier. It puts moisture in the air. Is I think it's if I'm in here, it's better for my skin. It's getting a little drippy. I think I need to do what I showed you last time. Let's go in there and kind of spoosh out that little thing in here. Let's see. That's this thing. I got, I got this under me to catch it, but yeah. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's really wet. Oh, there we go. Push it back in there. Let's see. Tighten it. Now I'm going to put cord in here. USB. Don't you just love USB? There we go. Okay. Maybe it won't pull so much there. Okay. Yes. This, I do this to humidify, make sure my skin, my sinuses, my breathing, everything is just a little bit. But here's the skinny on this. I'm using a lot more energy. Yes, you'd think in the winter you'd use more, but no. For me, it's in the summer. Um, both of my jackeries are down because of my solar. I got to get it out in the sun. And what I don't, I don't want to park in the sun because it's hot out there. <laughs> it, yeah, it sounds like a little baby. Me, it's hot. Well, I want to park in the shade, which means I'm not powering up very well. See, what am I getting? I'm in the shade and it's only trickling in three watts. Yeah, that's it. That's not good. It's down like to 39%. This one's down to 53%. I do have energy for the next day. So what I decided I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to run a bunch of errands. I'm going to be out running around, which means I have the air conditioner blowing on me or I'm going to be running into a store and I'm going to have air conditioning when I get there. I've got some appointments uh, going on tomorrow. And that means that my solar is going to be in the sun. I'll see what I can get in one day of doing that, at least in the morning. And I can, um, yeah, start powering up. i got to get these powered up big time. So, now, what else do I have? I got my chill pads. Remember, I did a comparison. I like them both. I really do. This is the official Chill Pad. It's the same company with the Chill Pal. This one's a little bit an off-brand. The only thing I didn't like about it is when I did the, the review on it, I had black pants on and I had it laying on my legs. And this left like a whole bunch of little fibers all over it. So this one I kind of keep away from my living area. So what do I do with these? Well, first what I do is I dunk them in water. And I did that. There's still a little water in here. Still a little water in here. And I'll show you. Listen. I wring them out really well. There we go. This one too. have a little bit of water in here and I'm just going to set it over here so I can dunk it again because I'm going to need to do it. This is going to evaporate. So what I do, it's kind of big, it's long and the link of this is in my video descriptions and in my storefront. And Minivan Lee's Amazon storefront. Yeah. If you use my links, I get a little bit of commission. It's not a lot, but it is something that helps support me. So use my links. I really, uh, most of you do. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And uh, so what I do with this is if you remember the worst the worst thing for a lithium battery is heat, especially over 90 degrees. Now, I could be outside exercising or walking around, but in here, they can't get outside. And I won't take them outside. I don't take them for a walk. <laughs> so 
what I do is just sort of like an effect. It's not, you know, it's not drippy. It's what these are all about. And I lay it over my jackeries. I don't encompass the whole thing, but I just lay it over. It creates a little bit of an evaporative cooler going on. Now, in when I come in and like in the afternoon, I want to do some graphic arts and do some editing. I will take it off of here and lay it over my legs or over my neck. And with the fan going, I don't have it on now because it does make noise. And I don't want to have that noise going on right now. But it really keeps me cool. It really does. I use a lot more water now in the summer. I, in the winter, I can use like a gallon of water. I use maybe like seven gallons a week, maybe eight or nine. Roughly, probably eight or nine, because sometimes I, in the winter, I wash my hair if I'm out boondocking, things like that. But, I, and that's still so, we are so, nomads are so um, sustainable. We just are. But I've been getting uh, distilled water at Walmart. And I'm using a lot more water because I got this to fill. I got this to fill. I've got these to get wet. I've got more water to drink. Yeah, I'm using a lot more water. So I got to make sure that I get to Walmart, which I'll probably do tomorrow and stock up. So basically, yeah. Now, okay. Here's some, some suggestions that other nomads use. What they do is they bring their windows down and they have these shade things that go over their window. Yes, it goes over the frame of the window and then they they have air flowing through. I have a pair of those, but what, what happened was they were given to me is that they don't fit tightly and there's this that goes in. And what I found was bugs were going in, going over, and coming in. <laughs> no, I do not all. Some of you don't mind it. I mean, some of you just leave your windows down. I do not want bugs in my van. I, that is something that I just, I, I can't deal with. I don't want bugs in here. I don't like flies. I don't want little bugs. I don't want them crawling on me in the night. No, I don't like the bugs. So, because I'm in the city, I could put, I could put a shade up, um, a screen up. I just don't. And some of you do. And so there's this, yeah, I personally just don't do it. But it would probably bring down, you know, the heat in here. So, yeah. Now, another thing that some of you have tried out and have suggested is getting some ice and blowing the fan on it. Well, I don't do ice. <laughs> so, but if you do ice, there's another suggestion to keep cool. Stay wet. Wet yourself down. Keep the fan going on top of you, blowing at you, and you're going to stay cool. Go outside and sit. A lot of times in the afternoon, I'll take my chair out, and I will sit out there and maybe prop my feet on my minivan on the on the bumper area and just sit there and do my graphic arts or, or whatever needs to be done or watch a movie or whatever. So that's what I do to stay cool. This is uh, suggestions for you. I like to keep it really simple. <laughs> yeah. I'm more Flintstone, you know. I got the pebbles thing going on. I'm more Flintstone-ish. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah. Here's a bucket of water. I did see um, somebody on the Facebook group. If you haven't joined or if you're on Facebook or uh, some of you don't want to deal with Facebook, that's fine. But somebody has, the, sometimes people will send links to things that they're like gadgets. And I love gadgets, but uh, not a gadget that I can do on my own. I'll see those ones where they're like uh, for a washing machine where you sit there and you pump it and it turns around. I use a bucket and I use my hands. <laughs> That's how I do laundry if I was going to do it by hand. Yeah, I just use my hands, a bucket, a water. And, but somebody also sent like a really cool sink. And this is one sink thing. And then this, this spout and it's a battery that pumps it out. 
Here's my sink. Whoop. <laughs> I'm more Flintstone, yeah. Uh, don't need a gadget for that. I do like gadgets like this. I don't know of any other gadget that could do this. So if I can't do it on my own, I will buy a gadget that can do it for me. But yeah, this really keeps me cool. So I hope you all staying cool. These are my suggestions. Love you guys. Hey, hey hi guys. <laughs> it's me and me. We're here together in two. No, we're not in two, so we're two. two <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Having a drink in your honor, guys. You need to be here. Having a good time. Uh-oh. Come into my office. I'm Here's my office. <laughs> I'm a park girl. I love parks. Got myself a nice table for the day or for the morning. I want to tell you about a little trick. Do y'all know what a vision board is? It's, it's a board that you make. You can keep it in your home, put it where you know you're going to see it often. But you put all your hopes and your dreams and your visions on it. You put words, you put pictures on it, and you build this board. It's called a vision board. Well, I made a nomad vision board because we don't have that much space. <laughs> so what it is, is these are index cards. Now what I did was I got heavy duty ones. So they're a little bit more durable because they might get kind of pushed here and pushed there. And then it's a clip. Now I don't have, I could actually add a lot more cards in here, but this is the amount that I made so far. And I can just throw it on my dresser. I put on here time machine. I named it time machine. I wanted a card on the outside so I could always tell that this is the top of it. Okay, so let's see what I got. So do you got a dream? Do you got a dream you want to put on a vision board, your little vision board here? And you can do this in your home also. You can do this in your home. <laughs> We're regulars here, huh? Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I won't put you on camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. Beautiful dogs. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so I've got the cards here. And what what you do with these is you put your hopes and your dreams on them and you go over them twice a day. In the morning and then before you go to bed. So. Now, <laughs> it looks like a lot of dreaming, eh? Well, each card only has a few things because I like to go over them. And the one thing about a vision board is a vision board can get really unindated with stuff and it's kind of like hard to focus on what's there because you keep putting new things in it this way with my cards i can focus on one thing at a time so i can go through my cards okay i'm going to go through them my first card is i am reading this and it shows i care now on my second one i have mission in life and I put down four things I put down four things <laughs> whoops <laughs> get that finger up four things I won't read them to you my next card is this is what I can do I wrote down accomplishments things that I've already done and some of them are recent but some of them are all the way through life you know and this is what I can do um now here's five more things i can do one of them i put i raise wonderful children <laughs> yeah well i can do that yeah because it's good to see what you already know how to do it gives you the hope and dreams and the confidence to do more and then i've got even more <laughs> yeah and then i've got even more <laughs> And I wanted to write big enough so I don't have to squint, okay? Then I wrote down my qualities. It's not a big, big card. It doesn't have a billion words all over it, but these are the qualities that I possess. And, uh, you know, don't be shy. Write down what your qualities are. Next, I wrote down my beliefs. I believe. 
This is what I believe in. Then this is a four words, patience, persistence, audacity, power, and creativity. These are words that are important to me. And I just turned the card over. Now this one is a big one for me. And this is something that we all need to do is drink water. And I always forget, so I wanna remind myself twice a day, drink water and meditate. Sometimes I put it off and I put create my future. The next one is eat produce, eat life and eat small. Don't, you know, eat so much food. You don't have to eat that much food. <laughs> yeah. I found that actually when I was living in a home, I actually ate a little bit more food than I do as a nomad. I don't know. Um, another one, I won't read them all. It's just an, an affirmation of mine. Another affirmation. Another one reminds myself to be present. And here's one. It says, I am making progress. I don't have to rush. I don't have to rush through things. It's not a race. I can enjoy it. Enjoy uh, the journey of accomplishing things. Affirmation. 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 And then my future, I put a statement down for my future. And of course, I wanted to remind myself of this. Jesus loves me. If you're not a Christian, it's okay. And put down whatever you want to put down. And uh, some goals. <laughs> now this one, I put down an affirmation. My day is perfect. I love all people, but I take no crap. <laughs> I mean, I have to remind myself of that, especially in Reno. These people, they could run you over with a, with a steamroller. No, I'm not gonna take any crap. I mean, I have a right to be, to, to have my freedoms too, and to do and to say what I wanna say. So yeah, and be where I wanna be here. So I, yeah, I, it reminds me, I have power. And uh, not too many, and other people do not have any power over me. God does, but not uh, other human beings. Peace. <laughs> now, and then at the end, what I did, I wanted to do, these are my affirmations. At the end, I wanted to write down areas in, of my, um, of my goals that I need to check over. And that way I can check over these. And maybe at the very end, I can take notes. Oh yeah, you do need to call, um, your uh, website um, host or, yeah, I need to uh, check on something on my merchandise, things like that. There's quite a few in here. I've got a few things going at once. Two, three, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there we go. So it didn't take long to do that and I'm explaining it, but it took me, I did this this morning See, I got big enough clips. These were like a dollar. I got, I got four of them. I got big enough clips that I could add more things into here. Yeah, as you can see, I can add more in. There we go. It's my little packet. Here's your nomadic vision board. Now, if you're not doing videos, you don't have business going, but you do have goals, don't you? Yeah, do you got a dream? Do you got goals? This is perfect to remind you of what needs to be done and it gets it into your mind and gets it into your subconscious, gets it into your long-term memory and you end up doing it without even thinking about it and you, the creativity starts flowing. So there you go.